Hello friends, welcome again to Codex and my name is Gaurav. The problem that we are going to discuss today is titled as plus minus and it is under algorithms warm up section. The difficulty level is easy. Uh, let's read out the problem description. Given an array of integers, calculate the ratios of its elements that are positive, negative and zero. This is the first part of the problem state uh, of problem description. The second task is print the decimal value of each fraction on a new line with six places after the decimal. So first concentrate on the first task calculating the ratios. So how we are going to calculate the ratio? Let's say there is an uh, array given uh, and its elements are 1, 1, 0, minus 1 and minus 1. So there are total 5 elements. How we can calculate the size of array? Now we have to calculate how many positive elements are there. So 1 is greater than 0. So it is a positive. So we can see 2 positive elements are there and 2 negative elements elements are there and only one element which is having a value as zero so to calculate the ratio we will do total number of positive divided by the size of array we will get 0.4 until the six places we have to print because it is given here similarly uh, to get the ratio of negative elements we will do 2 divided by 5 and similarly for 0 there there is only 1 so 1 upon 5 and our program should print these in one line after the other uh, so let's see the input format which is the first line contains an integer n the size of the array okay so the size of array will get from this n and the second line contains n space separated integers that will describe each element inside that array. Constants are n is greater than 0 and less than or equals to 100 and the element uh, minus 100 to plus 100. So here is a uh, sample input given. Let's quickly jump to the solution part. So first uh, we will take uh, one variable which is len and it is the length of array also we can say it is a total number of elements in array Take two more variables first one is count positive and we will initialize it to zero so this variable will be having the count of positive elements so when we when we iterate this error array we will increment the count positive whenever we encounter any positive number similarly there is a count negative variable so whenever we will get any negative number when we are going to iterate this error we will increment the this variables value and we are not taking any variable for the for counting the zero why because we can add count positive and count negative variables and subtract it from the length of the array we will get the count of zero elements now we have the logic here to iterate the array arr from i equal to zero to i is less than length now here we are checking for the positive number how we are checking arr of i that is the element if it is greater than zero then it means it is positive number so if it is positive number then just increment this variable to plus plus right similarly we will need one else if for this if its value is less than zero then count negative should be incremented so do that uh, 
now for every iteration we will get we are incrementing count positive and count negative whenever we are getting any positive number or negative number right now in this iteration only if we reach the last element we can just calculate and print out the result how we are going to do that let's see if i is double equals to length minus 1 because we are we are iterating array from 0 to length so when i variable will be equals to l length minus 1 that means we have reached the last element of the array so in that case we can just calculate the ratios and print it out in next lines let's let's do that now here we are taking one variable count zeros and which which will be calculated by using length minus count of positive plus count of negative right now we'll just have to do system dot out dot println first we will just check uh, without the precision of six decimal places right like this now let's try to run our code okay so it is giving zero 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 because if if we try to uh, divide integer with integer we will get an integer only right so that is a concept behind it so if we want the floating point like the float so we will need length to be a float not, not just an end because then integer by integer it will give the quotient okay so here what is what is happening let me show you here when we see uh, 3 upon 6 and this this 6 is only an integer so integer upon integer 6 zeros are 0 so this is giving the quotient okay so that's why it is printing just this zero so now we are making our length as float okay but here we will not need this we are just cop uh, we are copying this one and pasting it here now let's try to run this code okay so it is failing because because of the precision thing so now we have to put the precision so here uh, we will use printf and for the formatting like before decimal there should be only one number and after the decimal there should be six places after the decimal and f is for the floating number now just copy this part and place it here this will also be a printf this will also be a printf paste it here now try to run this code okay so we are making some mistake here length minus let's put it in the okay now try to run this code yeah so you can see both the sample test cases passed try to submit the code that's it friends wow so this is the beautiful code let me know friends if you like this approach that's it friends for today i will be providing uh, the problem and solution link into the description also if you like this video and if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends.